everybody and welcome to forever rugby on forever sports for this weekend urc preview because there's only one game so this is basically the entire urc this weekend it is the bulls taking on the lions in the yuxke derby and a game which has produced so many cool results so many cool games uh in the sort of uh, last few years and uh, it's been interesting to see how it's kind of the rivalry's kind of edged, ebbed and flowed a bit because the lions went on an incredible run where they'll be eating the bulls quite regularly and then the bulls sort of find ascendancy but this Lions side has shown they compete with anyone, really. And, uh, you know, that big sign, obviously, altitude matters. It's not going to matter this weekend because you're dealing with a team that plays down the road um, and trains at the same altitude. You know, it is a lot of competitiveness and a lot of rivalry between the two teams. And I think we're in for a really, really interesting clash um, because there's two teams who've got quite a lot of confidence at the moment. I think the Lions will be feeling that they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with most teams. And the Bulls, you know, after that win last weekend in the in the Champions Cup, uh, will also be very confident. But it's not the strongest Bulls side. There are a couple, missing a couple of players. They do welcome back a pretty significant player as well. Before we look at the two teams, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. We'll start with the home side, which are the Bulls. Um, both teams going with a 6-2 split this weekend. Uh, and the starting line, it is uh, Spio Matanzema, Akvanamova, and Mornay Smith. Uh, so Matanzema getting an opportunity to start there. Jan Kovala, by the way, makes his return on the bench. Uh, Diaz Lowe gets, I think, I'm pretty sure his first start of the season next to Ruan Okia, who will captain the side. It's not Alrich Lowe. It will be Ruan Okia, who's the sole captain. Uh, Marco Vassar starts the number six jersey. Alrich Lowe in the number seven. And, and, uh, and Pilo Gamedi, in fact, sorry, this, I'm not quite sure if this is wrong. Uh, he starts actually at eighth man. Kamen Hanukkah will be coming off the bench. Uh, the number nine and ten will be Ambrose Pierre and Johan uh, Sergio Peterson, Sebastian De Klerk, the two wings, Harold Forster in uh, the center with David Creel outside and Blue at full back. Uh, off the bench, it'll be Jan Krobola, uh, Dylan Smith, Kuta Antunu, Reynard Ludwig, Cameron Honekorm, Keegan Johannes, Devin Williams as your two backline players, Miles in the 23, and I think that's a jersey thing because the 23 jerseys tend to be bigger than the 21s, which are for scrum halves. So it depends on whether they, you know, how many jerseys they've ordered, uh, which is why you often see uh, forward to they go to the 60 split wearing the number 23 jersey. Uh, if we look at the Lions, Pretty consistent as to what we've seen all season. In the front row, J.P. Smith next to Jakob Asaki and Asanate and Klavakanya should be a really interesting battle um, up front. I think this is a battle the Lions could potentially win. You then got Ruben Schoolman and Renard Northmarkle in the second row. Darren Landsberg has been good form, drops down to the bench. Hanu Serge has been awarded for his impressive run, and he's next to Emmanuel Tuka and Franco Horn in that loose chair. So Nenna Humber shifts back to 10, which means Monet Vandenberg does start at 9. Your two wings will be Edward Vandenberg and Richard Creel in the midfield. It will be Captain Morris Lowe, who's kind of becoming a bit of sort of captain. Uh, fantastic at the moment. He's got the young Hankerman Bake outside him, and then Quan Horn at full back uh, will be bringing a lot of counter attacking ability and a nice boot as well. Off the bench, it will be Mornay Brandon, Morgan Nordea, Ruan Andre in the front row, Darren Landsberg, um, Isan Yesterhazen, and JC Pretorius. Very exciting to see JC Pretorius, who I thought was the standout for the Lions uh, in that, that match versus Montpellier. Um, so very keen to sort of see how he goes. A couple weeks ago, uh, that match two weeks ago. Uh, Jordan Henderson, Eric Cornier are your sole uh, backline players. Kind of seen this quite a lot with obviously having two scrum halves uh, starting. So uh, it's two good sides. And uh, yeah, I said Bulls missing. Obviously, no Kurt Lawrence and no Kane and Moody, for example. No Stephen Hans this weekend. Um, no Kurt Stenerkamp. Uh, no Bill Colo. So they are missing a couple of players uh, for the Lions. Missing the likes of, uh, of PJ Buerta. Uh, for example, obviously no William Albert at the moment, um, and no Ruan Fenter is obviously quite a big loss as well. But apart from that, it's, it's going to be very interesting to see, you know, how this game goes. For me, it's about the start, you know, it's which side starts better, because I think the Lions have been guilty of starting poorly and then giving themselves too much to do. Whilst they have managed to stage decent comebacks, look at the Sharks game, um, I do think they're a side which just generally don't start very well. And uh, the Bulls, although well, this is what makes it interesting, are a side that have often started well but then faded. So... It could be quite interesting. I think the longer this game goes on and the, and, it, and it remains in the balance, the more I think the Lions can, can create an upset here because I do think that they finish very strong um, and I think that the Bulls have got a bad format of letting teams back in and not sort of putting teams away. And uh, they're about to go into play of rugby when it comes to both these teams into into uh, uh, Challenge and Champions Cup rugby. So they need to start bringing that sort of, uh, you know, lethal mentality that uh, that's... Uh, that playoff mentality. Uh, so, yo, let me know what your score predictions are down in the comments below. Please do smash like on the video and come join me on the watch along tomorrow. It should be a lot of fun. Um, until then, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.